Welcome to Kunming, the largest city in the province of Yunnan, China. Kunming is rich in cultural heritage and conglomeration of different ethnicities. The Golden Horse and Peacock Archways are located in the center of old downtown Kunming. It was built during the Ming Dynasty more than 400 years ago. It is the symbol of Kumin, the capital of the province of Yunnan. The Jixing Flowers and Birds Market opened for business in 1983. It is the biggest birds and flowers market in the city of Kumin and the most attractive. It has more than 700 stores that sells different things from souvenirs, flowers like camellias, roses, orchids, begonias to name a few, many species of birds, turtles, and colorful fishes. After the long walk, we enjoyed the delicious Yunnan dishes of rice noodles, kumin flavored barbecue, and many more in one of the restaurants in Kumin. We also visited the Yunnan Luyu Tea Exchange where we had a Yunnanese tea ceremony and tried different kinds of pure teas which is famous in China. This research center is run by the Yunnan Agriculture University. The Stone Forest or Xilin is located in Xilin Yi County, Yunnan Province is about 80 hectares. It is an area of limestone formations believed to be more than 270 million years ago. The stone forest is divided into many smaller stone forests that have caves, pans, waterfalls, and lake. One of the famous attractions in the stone forest is the Ashima Stone. Legend has it that a sunny girl named Ashima was turned into a stone in the forest after she ran away because she was forbidden to marry the man she loved. The Sunny tribe of more than 40,000 members is a branch of the Yi minority considered the stone forest as their home. They are peaceful loving people and have preserved their customs and traditional culture intact. They are renowned for their diligence, dancing, and embroidery skills. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2007.
Our last night in Kumi, we watched the Shangri-La Dynamic Yunnan show composed of more than 60 Aboriginal dancers and singers. The show depicts the tradition and rich ethnic beauty of Yunnan with its ancient original songs, ethnic dance classics, and colorful costumes presented in a cutting-edge modern art concept. The first bend of the Yangtze River was named because here the river makes a 90 degrees U-turn from south to east of about 1 kilometer distance. The Yangtze River is the world's third longest river and the most important river in China. First Bend is a strategic military area for many years. This is where the Mongolian Emperor Kublai Khan crossed with his army to attack the Dali in the 13th century. The Chinese Red Army crossed this river during their long march in 1936. Aside from its military value, the first river bend is a place where Tibetan connects to the outside world. They come down to trade with people living in the area since the ancient time. The stone drum is a monument commemorating the victory of Yijang Sanazi over the Tibetan army. It was built during the Jai Jing era between 1548 to 1561. The Tiger Leaping Gorge is one of the deepest river canyons in the world. It is located in the Jensha River, which is the primary tributary of the Upper Yangtze River. The place got its name from a hunted tiger escaping by jumping at the narrowest point of the river, which is about 82 feet by using a rock in the middle. The steep path and the scenic views of the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain and the Haba Snow Mountain makes it one of the sought after trekking adventure in China and in the world. Inhabiting the place are the ethnic Nazi and Tibetan people. They have restaurants and shops nearby the gorge where you can taste the traditional food and see their unique culture and traditions. The Jade Dragon Snow Mountain stands at 18,360 feet with 13 peaks that are covered with snows all year round. It is a sanctuary for wild plants and rare animals protected by the state. This mountain is famous for its natural beauty, is sacred for the Nazi ethnic tribe. There are three cableways going up to the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain, located in the different areas of the mountain. The most popular is the cableway to the Glacier Park, which is about 15,354 feet high and the longest of the three cableways. We took the cableway to the Yak Meadow with an elevation of 11,975 feet. The Yak Meadows is an area of grassland beside the high peaks which gives you a good view of the snow cup mountain. As the name implies, you can see lots of yaks grazing on the meadows and the place gives you the experience of the beauty of simplicity.
It is advisable to bring warm clothing and gloves because sometimes the temperature up in the mountain is freezing. Portable oxygen cans is needed in case you experience high altitude sickness. The month of November to April is the best time to visit the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. This is the period that the sky is most clear and small amount of snow covers the mountain peaks. The old town of Lichang has a history dated back more than 1,000 years ago. During the ancient times, this place was famous for its orderly system of waterways and bridges. Lichang Old Town, also called Dayan Old Town, is one of the four well-preserved ancient cities in China. The old town was once a meeting place for the trade along the old tea horse caravan trail. It has a well-preserved ancient Nazi architecture and was declared UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. The town featured cobblestone streets and about 354 different stone bridges with water wheel driven canals making it romantic and elegant. The Sifal Square is located in the center of the town, is lined with shops, cafes, and bars. We stayed in this ancient historic old town of Lijiang for three nights in Lijiang Ivy Garden Resort Hotel. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and share.